Hi, I'm Pastor Frank Ray, pastor of Salem Baptist Church here in Memphis, Tennessee, Orange Mound area. And I'm Pastor Ricky Floyd of the Pursuit of God Transformation Center in North Memphis. I'm deeply concerned about what's going on in the city of Memphis. I've been here all my life. I pastored here for 52 years mm -hmm. plus. I'm concerned about what's happening in our neighborhood, our community, uh, right in our own backyard, all of the crime that's taking place uh, in the city of Memphis, gun violence, stealing cars, killing people, and they favor me, they're my color. And we're intending to do something about it starting now. Yeah. You know, a lot of people can talk about and complain about what's going on in the city, but we have a consistent record of being rooted and connected in our community. We have the hearts of our people and we've extended our hands, or shall I say the hands of the Lord out to our people. And we believe that in this season, God has created a greater value and necessity for the church to stand up. God has shared with us because God don't react the way we act. God put things in place from the beginning. Uh, that's a passage in the Bible that contain only 40 words that give us the answer to our problem. Second Chronicles 7, 14. If my people, uh, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray, seek my face, turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, forgive them of their sins, heal their land. The responsibility is in the hands of those of us that love the Lord, that's born again, that's saved and sanctified. And if we're not a part of the solution, we're part of the problem. Listen, Memphis is faced with poverty. It's, cr it's faced with low education. It's faced with crime. And we, the local church, have the solution. What we're doing is restoring the righteous, relevant reputation back to the local congregation by giving tools, principles, and solution to give people a way of escape out of crime. Listen, we want to tell you one of the things that we have coming is impact youth collaboration. We know that our youth are destroyed for lack of knowledge. And what we are committed to doing is giving our children knowledge, love, affection, protection, direction, and correction so that the lifestyle that they're living, we give them another option. God gave most of us a second chance. Yeah. We want to give our youth, our young adult, a second chance. We need your help. Be blessed in the Lord.